I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, one of Chattanooga's tallest structures, the First Tennessee Bank Building, is being sold. A Memphis developer plans to remake more than half of the building's 16 floors into apartments. It's a $14 million project that will keep the bank below but add up to 90 apartments above. Construction should begin early next year. Chattanooga police have identified the teenager shot to death on Missionary Ridge. 19-year-old Kevin Albert Jr. was a football player at Brainerd High School. He graduated earlier this year, but police say he was a validated gang member of the Roland 40 Crips, and that may have played a role in his death. Albert was shot multiple times and died in the road on Rosemont Drive. Police are looking for a red sedan. Investigators do not have any suspects in the case. Hutchinson Medical Center laid off 58 people in September. Sources say the layoffs included the ICU director, the outpatient services director, and more middle managers. The hospital also stopped performing emergency surgeries last week. Those patients will be taken to other hospitals. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump plans to visit Tennessee this weekend. He's hosting a rally at the factory in Franklin at 2.30 p.m. Tickets are expected to go fast. A county court has upheld Ringgold's decision to stop a pro wrestler from running for mayor. The city says Paul Lee is ineligible because he hasn't been a resident for 12 months. In response, Lee says he's filing two complaints against city officials he believes are in office illegally. He also plans to sue the city. The boutique hotel being built next to the walking bridge has been named. The hotel will be called The Edwin after Edwin Thatcher. Thatcher was the engineer who designed the Walnut Street Bridge. The 90-room hotel is expected to open in spring 2017. An East Tennessee police officer has been suspended for refusing to shoot a skunk. The skunk bit a six-year-old child in Mount Carmel. David Dean reportedly violated policy when he handed his weapon to the fire chief to kill the skunk so it could be tested for rabies. The skunk was not, in fact, rabid. Voters have chosen the best new restaurant in Chattanooga. Firebird's Wood-Fired Grill was number one in the best of the best. It's located at Hamilton Corner in East Brainerd. The finalists were Clyde's on Main Street and 210 Jack at Warehouse Row. The Etowah City Commission has voted to block a proposed whiskey distillery, but owner Kevin Carruthers says the city doesn't have the authority to block Hillborn Crafted Spirits, and he's pushing on regardless. The first black reporter at the Chattanooga Times has died. Clarence Franklin Scaife started at the newspaper in 1968, a critical time in the Civil Rights era. He also served in the Korean War and won a Purple Heart. Scaife worked at the Times until the early 1980s. He'll be buried at Chattanooga National Cemetery. He was 79. Turning to weather, we'll see rain today with a high near 70 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 59. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.